Welcome to this video everyone. John Jarvis here from First Page Traffic. This is part two of a video tutorial series that I'm doing on how to do keyword research in 2014. What I've done so far is find a starting long tail keyword phrase to rank for in the search engines. This is what to do with our starting keyword phrase. What I happen to be using in this example is cheap fishing tackle. So I'm going to head back to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner and start from there. A little over 3,000 competing videos is nothing when it comes to this style of search engine optimization. A good rule of thumb to go by is 100,000. If there are less than 100,000 competing videos for a long tail keyword phrase, you can easily outrank any website with the proper YouTube playlist, playlist title, playlist description, and so on. So if I wanted to make money using cheap fishing tackle as my market, I'd register a website that had a domain name something similar to cheapfishingtackle.com. It could be cheapfishinggear.com, savemoneyonfishinggear.com, or anything at all that's close to the original starting keyword phrase. I take this keyword phrase back to the Google Keyword Planner. I'd enter in right here. The first page I build on my new website would have the title Cheap Fishing Tackle, or better yet even, Where to Find Cheap Fishing Tackle. Or again, this could be something similar. Remember LSI, Latent Semantic Indexing. So starting with the keyword phrase Cheap Fishing Tackle, we see that Cheap Fishing Tackle Online comes up, so let's check it out. Copy it, take it back here. And let's enter it in here and see if it's a money keyword or not. And this one is. Now we place our quotations around it and see how many competing websites we have. 192,000, which is pretty good for an LSI keyword. And now our competing videos. One. One competing video. You could just do a short video showing people where to buy cheap fishing tackle online and uploaded property again is going to rank on page one of Google within minutes. So the first web page would be our home page and have the title cheap fishing tackle and we'd write another web page with the title cheap fishing tackle online and set that keyword phrase aside and find our second long tail keyword phrase for this campaign. Let's go back to the keyword tool. Let's scroll down. Let's try cheap sea fishing tackle. Copy it. Good, it's a money keyword. Look at all the ads on the right. Let's check out our competition. One hundred six thousand competing websites. This is okay. Let's go to videos. Ah, when no results for cheap sea fishing tackle comes up, you're actually being told that you have absolutely zero competition. So there's your second web page right there. So you copy it, take it back to your document. And now for our third web page title. It's showing right here that we have 800 keywords, so we could easily click over and find another one. Let's try second hand fishing tackle. This one has a string of four keywords, which is even better than three keywords. And let's go to web. Ads on the right. This is a good thing. But you know what? Just like a small fish, I'm going to throw this back and see if I can find a keyword phrase that's easier to rank for. So let's go back here. Let's scroll down.
Let's try cheap bass fishing tackle. Pop this one in. All right, even more ads on the right here, that's a good thing. And only 94,800 competing websites. So this, you see, is a better keyword phrase. Check out videos. Again, you've got zero competition for cheap bass fishing tackle videos. So let's take it back to our document and paste it here. So we have our domain name set to cheapfishingtackle.com and this would also be the first web page that we write. Our next three web pages are Cheap Fishing Tackle Online, Cheap Sea Fishing Tackle, and Cheap Bass Fishing Tackle. And that's it for part two of how to do keyword research in 2014. In the next video, I'm going to show you what the titles of your blog posts should be.